Let's mess up some text here in Illustrator. So I've got a simple piece of text just here. Here in my layers panel, you can see that entry just there. And I use the type tool to create that text. So all we have to do is with my main tool, the selection tool, if I just select this and go up to type, create outlines, visually nothing has changed here, but check out the layers panel. We now have a group just here. And if I twirl that down, I can see I now have a series of compound parts. So this is great. Having converted our text into vector shapes, we can now easily manipulate those shapes. So tapping the A key or coming over here and grabbing the direct selection tool, I could, for example, click on a single point, drag that wherever I like, I'll undo that. If I click drag and release over an area, I can select multiple anchor points. I can easily move those around like so. Again, undoing that. If I wish to restrict my movement to vertical or horizontal directions, while I'm dragging, just hold down the shift key. I'm going to select these points just down here. And instead of using the mouse, I'm going to hold down the down arrow key. And you can see I am very slowly moving those anchor points down. If you wish to move these more quickly while using the arrow keys, include the shift key. So I'm holding down the shift key just now and tapping the up and down arrow keys to move those points around much more quickly like so. I'll quickly make a couple of other adjustments, maybe drag the top and the bottom around like so. So that's how we can easily manipulate the individual vector paths. But what if we want to start messing with the color of this thing? Well, I'll go back and grab my main tool, the selection tool. And if I just click once on any of these, it selects everything because these things are grouped together. We can see the term group just up here, also in the layers panel. So if I come out here and right mouse click and choose ungroup, I have now separated the group and I can easily move these around individually like so. I'll just undo that. And the main reason for doing that is it allows me to easily select individual elements. And having done so, I could easily come over, for example, to the swatches panel, making sure, of course, I'm targeting the fill and change the color like so. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. Again, this isn't pretty, but I hope it gives you some good ideas on ways you can convert text into shapes and manipulate them from there here inside of Illustrator. Catch you later.